What's going on, y'all? Back again, man. Here again on the channel, Boss Grow Info. Don't forget to hit that like, that subscribe button, man. So y'all can stay tuned and updated for the next latest videos. Man, without further ado, man, we're going to catch y'all right back up where we left off in the 4x4 tent with the five plants in here. As you can see, they are starting to finish up. All of them getting a lovely color. You see that? starting to ripe that's what i call it it's starting to ripen man we're doing organic we're growing organic fruits here and vegetables man and we're gonna wait till all our fruit is ripe to pluck it you can see how the leaves is fading let me go ahead and get one for you let's go ahead and grab this one down here it looks like it's losing some flavor and chlorophyll too look at that you see it's sucking the nitrogen is leaving the phosphorus leaving but even the Potassium is getting sucked out this point. No deficiencies. This is what you want in week going in week eight, man. You want your flowers to look like they're ripening. If your flowers are, are anywhere near green, dark green, and you in week eight, man, but your flowers are nowhere near ripening. You probably need to leave them another one or two weeks, man. But as you can see how these, yeah, they got all green on them, but they're light green. They're starting to fade. See how I'm starting to fade? I call it the Jordan fadeaway, man. If you get this Jordan fadeaway, man, you hit it. You, you didn't hit it. You know when Jordan take the crossover, do, do, step back and then fade away, bust you in your face? That's what this is happening right here, man. They busting y'all in your face. The Jordan fadeaway. Y'all can see. But this is the 4x4, four four, the five plants in here. Now let's go check out the other one we got with the, uh, what is it, the Star Killer. Right here we got the five or four do -si do and one Gorilla Glue right here. Man, look at this one right here. This one is huge. It's getting... That one is a nice size. Dense, too. Nice and dense. I like all my buds nice and dense. I don't like that fluffy stuff, man. I don't like that fluffy stuff. Yeah. Let's go check out the other two. Here in the two by four with the star killer, man. Y'all see them, man. I see the calyx, I see the calyxes, man. The leaves dying, turning colors, man. The orange, the white hair is starting to turn orange, man. You see how they're starting to look? Yeah, nice and dense, nice and dense. I'm squeezing this. Look, you can't even tell I'm squeezing it. That's what you want. Mm, they smell good too. Nice and stinky. Yeah, we got these finishing up over here. They looking good. Everything is looking good in here. We're not going to add no more water to these, these finishing tents. We're going to let them stress themselves out. You know, we might, we're not going to let them get bone dry, but we're not going to be feeding them any more water, any more nutrients, anything like that, man. We just, we don't let these finish up because they need to suck whatever is in those leaves up out of them and they need to ripen too. As you can see, the ripening colors are coming. That's how you know when you're ready. Let's check out what we got going on in the two by two. These girls, these women in here is looking lovely too. These, is, I think these might be the best wedding cakes I've grown so far phenotype of wedding cakes I've grown so far that look the best. Look at this. See the hairs. See the hairs on this one straight up. And you can see the difference in the two plants. That one got the hairs curling up. And then this one got the hairs straight up. So you can see they're two different. It was slightly different. But they looking good in here. They don't need much. Swells damp enough, you might top it off, wet it up just a little bit. I don't see anything going wrong in here, any deficiencies. The Mars Hydro 600 is doing wonders in here with this small ass light and this two by two, man. Y'all can try this, man. Y'all got a small area, y'all can't got nowhere to put it, man. Go ahead and get you a cheap light, the Mars Hydro uh, 600. I think it's like 65 bucks, man. Y'all can grab that in a small two by two tent for another 50 bucks. Y'all can have two plants the size of this in here. 
growing in flower quick, organically, easy, simple. But that's enough of that. Let's go check out the Gorilla Glue with the four of them in there. Let's check that out. Yeah, I wanted to show y'all this because these leaves look lovely. Look, that's how they're supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Each plant is reaching for the light. We call it praying. They got that oh, the awe effect. You know, when you walk into churches and everything. And the lights come on. That's what you need right there. The all effect. Look at that. Dark green. No deficiencies. Everything is looking beautiful and lovely in here. It's looking beautiful and lovely. And that's what you want. You see the little spots on there? Don't worry about that. That ain't nothing but uh, what is that? Is that phosphorus? Or that's something on my leaves. I don't know what that is. It's only on a few leaves anyway. It's not on the whole plant. But see look at that look at how the leaves is reaching for the air that's what you want that's what you want i think those are light burns probably getting too much light they're close to the light light's only right there see how that's looking full wall to wall that's what you want bada beam bada bam bada boom Let's check out what we got going on in another tent. Oh yeah, you can see. You can see they all starting to pop the flowers up now. Another thing I want to talk about while I'm here. Let's get on in here. I see them flowers starting to develop. They wasn't here last week or a few days ago, five, three, three to five days ago, right? flowers wasn't here now they starting to, the pistol starting to come out on them that's when you first see your buds start developing when you first see that buds start developing that is day one of flower I don't care how many weeks they've been in here you do not start in your flower weeks until the flower starts to flower as soon as you see that See, I get a better one. As soon as you see the flower, that's day one of flower. Now, seeing as I think they started maybe yesterday or the day before, we're gonna count the yesterday or the day before as week one. This is day one of week one of flower. Yeah, they be sitting here a week, but we do not count flower until they start flowering. That's pointless. Why are you going to count your leaves stretching and not growing flowers? You want to grow flowers, not sticks, not stretching. You want to grow bud. So you're going to wait till your flowers start to grow buds on them. As you can see in here. Focus. Come on, there you go. And now you got flowers. This is the six critical bilbos, the little short ones. We're gonna let these factor up. When I say factor up, I mean turn to a factor. There ain't no factor right now. It's week one. Come here, we check these out next week. They don't need no water, ain't got the dark soil. We're gonna leave them alone. Simple right now. Keep this simple for y'all. Alright, let's check out the problem child. If you caught caught up with me on the last episode, uh, in the gorilla glue three plants with the, in the two by four the middle plant had started an infestation of spider mites and I took some this right here let me show you I took some 99 I got I'll put this a ratio of this in the bottom of the spray bottle mixed it with some cold water spider mites hate that and alcohol is supposed to be supposed to kill the spider mites and I sprayed this entire plant down. This spot, this entire tent, sprayed it down. Now it's day three of the spider mites infestation. Some of them are still here. Got rid of a lot of them, and I also came back and I defoliated. If you can tell, I defoliated in lollipop a lot of the leaves. Not on this one, 
This one did not have an infestation. I didn't want to hinder it. I didn't want to hinder the growth and the performance on it. But these two, as you can see, this is what the spider mites do to it. I don't know if you know, it don't look like anything's wrong right now, right? Looks like it's fine, it's growing nice, right? Then you come over here to this, this plant, the one not infestation, and look at this bud. This is what spider mites will do to you. See the size of this and how it grew? And you come over here, and you look at this one. The spider mites suck the chlorophyll out the leaves, which causes the plant to suffer in the photosynthesis process, which makes it stun its growth. It's not growing as fast as it should grow, or normally would. That's the reason you want to get rid of spider mites, because they will eat your leaves and mess up your photosynthesis process. But that was just the first step of getting rid of spider mites. To continue, since I have four weeks left to go with these, I'm gonna keep spraying for the next remainder of the four weeks. And also, I have, da, 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 da. yes, all right, diatomaceous earth crawler insect killer. After I spray the tip down with uh, the alcohol, this is, everybody, if you don't know what this is, this is a uh, diet to measure earth, nothing but fo fossilized, uh, what is it, like animals, in insects, like skeletons of that. It's all organic, doesn't hurt the plants, no chemicals or nothing in this. And anyway, I will spray some of this on there and I wash my plants and my buds off after I'm done anyway. So nothing on my plants that I'm putting on here is chemically on these plants. I also have a third product, not here yet, that I'm gonna apply to these, but I'm doing one at a time. Three different products, three times a week, until harvest to keep the spider mites from stunning the growth in these plants, like they did these, this one. This one on the left over here, the bud's not so bad. You see, you wonder what's all that white stuff on the leaf? That's the diet to make sure. Let me show you how this works. If you're using, a, um, using this stuff, make sure y'all have a mask on. Uh, Go ahead and get you one Corona mask and put on. See, it turns to like a powdery form. What happens is all the little crawling insects that get on this stuff. This stuff is like razor wire. It's like razor wire. See how that stuff, the dust floats in the air? That's why I say, if you're using this stuff, make sure you're using a mask. You don't want this stuff to get in your lungs. It is fossilized bone stuff, even though it is organic. Some bacteria, your body can't break down coming from other sources. So just make sure y'all gotta stay safe and wear a mask when you're using this stuff. If it's on top of your leaves, it's not gonna hurt it. But you don't want it caked on there because you do want the light to hit it. So just leave a little light coated on there. Guys, and take this stuff and you can put it down here on your stalks, under your leaves. Keep the plant. And that's the dye to make reserves that I just used in there. After I sprayed it again, I applied a second application, made it easier for the to stick to the undersides of the leaves. We're gonna leave this in here. We'll check back with it in a few days. But other than the spider mite infestation, this plant and the one on the side are going, growing great. The one in the middle, you can tell it's kind of stunted, but it's gonna hurt our yield a little bit, but we'll still get a little something off of it. And when I break this tent down, and at the end of all this, since its tent has spider mites in it, anything touching it or anything that was in here, we're gonna we're just gonna nuke this tent with bleach and alcohol. We're gonna clean it. We're gonna clean it up good, clean the ground, clean the walls. I'm gonna cut the net out, both nets, put a, two new brand new nets in here, make sure that 
that doesn't happen again to the next plant that we go in here. Got to stay clean and prevent it from happening. But that's another episode of the day with Boss Bro Info, man. That's all the time I got for y'all now, man. Don't forget to hit that like button, man. Come on, man. Let me get 420 likes. Let me get 420 subscribers, man. Y'all know what it is. Stay tuned for the next episode, man. Peace.